Robert, so we don't get into any confusion here. This is the real D2, isn't it? This is the real D2. We're very pleased to be announcing it. It's the second in our line of pocket panels uh, after the D1. It's like the D1. It's primarily a backup attitude indicator. Plus it adds GPS, ground speed, and track. But then on top of it, to the D1, we added a Wi-Fi connection, so it outputs all its data to tablets and iPads. And we also added a G meter to it, which is kind of a fun accessory. How'd you come up with an idea like this? Well, again, it's our customers who came up with it. At shows, particularly AOPA, customers would come up and they see our equipment. It would look like a you know hundred thousand dollar panel system. They'd look at the prices, and it was ten percent of that. You know, ten thousand dollars for a system, and they say, "I want one." We ask what airplane they have, and they'd say, "Well, a Bonanza." And we'd apologize and say, well, we're sorry, we just can't do it. And that's when they would say, well, why don't you make it small, put a little Velcro on the back, and I can just put it on my panel. And so the code name inside the company was the Velcro EFAS for many years. We don't own the rights to Velcro, so we couldn't use that. But that's essentially where it, where it came up. And as I understand, you're going to still offer the D1 at a reduced price along with the new functionality in the D2. We have. We've lowered the price of the D1 down to 1195 So that's the other suggestion from customers. They always wish, oh, why don't you make it a little bit less expensive? We have very cost-conscious customers uh, at Dynon. We try to make it available to everybody. Run me through some of the functionality here, if you could. Okay. So the, this is the basic functionality. Again, is the attitude. Um, and just like the D1, it has uh, ground speed, uh, GPS altitude, a turn and back mank indicator, and a GPS ground track. Uh, if I press one button here, I now have a G-meter, which is going to show me my load factor on my aircraft. It also records the minimum and maximum since you've last reset it. Oh, so if you want to see what that bump really was in flight, then you can go back and see what the extremes were. So that's one feature we added. The second one is we added an internal Wi-Fi transceiver to it. So now it's talking to the iPad or an iPhone. And if you look at this here, it's now transmitting all the same data to the uh, tablet or the iPhone device. Power requirements? It's the same as the D1. It has an internal battery, which we say lasts four hours. It's actually quite a bit longer than that. Mm -hmm. But it also comes with a wall socket recharger and a cigarette lighter charger. So if you want to leave it in your plane to plug it in the cigarette lighter, you can actually set it up so that every time you turn on your master switch, it turns on and off with your master. Robert, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate yeah, it. Jim, it's a real pleasure. Aero TV is brought to you by since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Com.